Chapter 3, A Call for Call Porter Evangelist. Recruits call for, Night after night I am standing before the people bearing a very positive testimony and pleading with them to be wide awake and to take up the work of circulating our literature. Review and Herald, April 20, 1905. The canvassing field is in need of recruits. Those who engage in this work in the spirit of the Master will find entrance to the homes of those who need the truth. To these they can tell the simple story of the cross, and God will strengthen and bless them as they lead others to the light. The righteousness of Christ goes before them, and the glory of the of God is their rearward. Review and Herald, June 16, 1903. Arise and shine. The canvassing work should no longer be neglected. Many times I have been shown that there should be a more general interest in our canvassing work. The circulation of our literature is one very important means of placing before men and women the light that the Lord has committed to his church to be given to the world. The books sold by our canvassers open to many minds the unsearchable riches of Christ. In the service of God there is a work of many kinds to be performed. In the service of the temple there were hewers of wood as well as priests of various orders bearing various degrees of responsibility. Our church members are to arise and shine because their light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon them. Let those who know the truth arouse out of sleep and make every effort to reach the people where they are. The work of the Lord must no longer be neglected by us and made secondary to worldly interests. We have no time to be idle or discouraged. The gospel is to be proclaimed to all the world. The publications containing the light of present truth are to go forth to all places. Why are we not more wide awake? Each worker may now understand his special work and receive strength to take hold of it anew. Distinct and peculiar developments of the boundless glory of God will bring tributary offerings of various kinds to the feet of Jesus. Every new disclosure of the Savior's love turns a balance for some soul in one direction or the other. The end of all things is at hand. The men of the world are rushing on to their ruin. Their schemes, their confederacies are many. New devices will continually be brought in to make of no effect the counsel of God. Men are heaping up treasures of gold and silver to be consumed by the fires of the last days. Review and Herald, June 10, 1903. The Lord calls for many. The new year is just before us, and plans should be laid for earnest, persevering effort in the Master's service. There is much to be done to advance the work of God. I have been instructed that the canvassing work is to be revived, and that it is to be carried forward with increasing success. It is the Lord's work, and a blessing will attend those who engage in it with earnestness and diligence. Review and Herald, January 20, 1903. The Lord calls for many more to engage in the canvassing work. For Christ's sake, my brethren and sisters, make the most of the hours of the new year to play, place the precious light of present truth before the people. The angel of the covenant is empowering his servants to carry the truth to all parts of the world. He has sent forth his angels with a message of mercy, but as if they did not speed on their way fast enough to satisfy his heart of yearning love, he lays on every member of his church the responsibility of proclaiming this message, Let him that heareth say, Come. Every member of the church is to show his loyalty by inviting the thirsty to drink of the water of life. A chain of living witnesses is to carry the invitation to the world. Will you act your part in this great work? Both men and women, Jesus is calling for many missionaries, for men and women who will consecrate themselves to God, willing to spend and be spent in his service. Oh, can we not remember that here is a world to labor for? Shall we not move forward step by step, letting God use us as his helping hand? Shall we not place ourselves on the altar of service? Then the love of Christ will touch and transform us, making us willing for his sake to do and dare. Review and Herald, January 7, 1903. 
Many, both men and women, can do an excellent work by canvassing for books that are full of direct, simple instruction on practical godliness. Manuscript 81, 1900. A call to youth. The Lord calls upon our youth to labor as canvassers and evangelists to do house-to-house work in places that have not yet heard the truth. He speaks to our young men, saying, You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Those who will go forth to the work under God's direction will be wonderfully blessed. Those who in this life do their best will obtain a fitness for the future immortal life. Review and Herald, May 16, 1912. We have a work to do. Educate, educate, educate young men to give themselves to the ministry of the word. Educate them to become canvassers to sell those books which the Lord by his Holy Spirit has stirred minds to write. This reading matter will thus be given to a large class of people who would never hear the truth unless it was brought to their doors. This is the work of the evangelist, letter 135, 1900. Christ calls for young men who will volunteer to carry the truth to the world. Men of spiritual stamina are wanted, men who are able to find work close at hand because they are looking for it. The church needs new men to give energy to the ranks, men for the times, able to cope with its errors, men who will inspire with fresh zeal the flagging efforts of the few laborers, men whose hearts are warm with Christian love and whose hands are eager to go about their master's work. Manual for Canvassers, page 22. Hundreds to go. May the Lord move upon many of our young men to enter the canvassing fields as canvassing evangelists. By the canvassing work, the truth is presented to thousands that otherwise would not hear it. Our time for work is short. Why is there not a more diligent seeking of the Lord that hundreds may be filled with the Holy Spirit and may go forth to proclaim the truth, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following? Our commission is to let the light shine forth everywhere from the press. By the printed page, the light reaches the isolated ones who have no opportunity to hear the living preachers. This is a most blessed missionary work. Canvassers can be the Lord's helping hand, opening doors for the entrance of truth. We must arouse the zeal and earnestness of the canvassing agents, calling them to take the light into the dark places of the earth. There is no release for any who have talents and capabilities. They are required to be the Lord's instruments, required to cooperate with the Lord Jesus in shedding the light of heaven into this sin-darkened world. Letter 21, 1902. Workers from every church. God calls for workers from every church among us to enter his service as canvasser evangelists. God loves his church. If the members will do his will, if they will strive to impart the light to those in darkness, he will greatly bless their efforts. He represents the church as being the light of the world. Through his faithful ministrations, a multitude that no man can number will become children of God fitted for everlasting glory. Every part of God's dominion is to be filled with his glory. What then is the church doing to enlighten the world? That from all parts of the earth a tribute of praise and prayer and thanksgiving may ascend to him. Letter 124, 1902. Every believer to help. Let every believer scatter broadcast tracts and leaflets and books containing the message for this time. We need call porters who will go forth to circulate our publications everywhere. Review and Herald, November 12, 1903. Men from the common walks of life, in this closing work of the gospel, there is a vast field to be occupied. And more than ever before, the work is to enlist helpers from the common people. Both the youth and those older in years will be called from the field, from the vineyard, and from the workshop, and sent forth by the Master to give his message. Many of these have had little opportunity for education, but Christ sees in them qualifications that will enable them to fulfill his purpose. If they put their hearts into the work and continue to be learners, he will fit them to labor for him. Education, pages 269 to 70. God's blessing promised. There is missionary labor to be done in the distribution of tracts and papers and in canvassing for our different publications. 
Let none of you think that you cannot engage in this work because it is taxing and requires time and thought. If it requires time, give it cheerfully, and the blessing of God will rest upon you. There never was a time when more workers were needed than at the present. There are brethren and sisters throughout all our ranks who should discipline themselves to engage in this work. In all our churches, something should be done to spread the truth. It is the duty of all to study the various points of our faith that they may be prepared to give a reason for the hope that is in within them with meekness and fear. Review and Herald, April 1, 1880. Christ will teach what to say. Many are sad and discouraged, weak in faith and trust. Let them do something to help someone more needy than themselves, and they will grow in God's strength. Let them engage in the good work of selling our books. Thus they will help others, and the experienced gain will give them the assurance that they are God's helping hand. As they plead with the Lord to help them, he will guide them to those who are seeking for the light. Christ will be close beside them, teaching them what to say and do. By comforting others, they themselves will be comforted. Angels, accompany and prepare way. I ask you, dear Christian workers, to do what you can to circulate the books the Lord has said should be sown broadcast throughout the world. Do your best to place them in the homes of as many people as possible. Think of how great a work can be done if a large number of believers will unite in an effort to place before the people by the circulation of these books the light that the Lord has said should be given them. Under divine guidance, go forward in the work and look to the Lord for aid. The Holy Spirit will attend you. Angels of heaven will accompany you preparing the way. Review and Herald, January 7, 1903. The consecration God requires. We need canvassers, evangelists, ministers who have received the Holy Spirit and who are partakers of the divine nature. We need workers who are able to talk with God and then with the people. I am alarmed as I see how many obstructions are coming in to divert men from evangelistic work and thus hinder the work of God. I warn those who should be in the canvassing work, circulating the books so much needed everywhere, to be careful not to turn from the work that the Lord has called them to. Let not the men that God has called to do gospel work become entangled with business perplexities. Let them keep their souls in the atmosphere most favorable to spirituality. God wants every worker who claims to believe the present truth to consecrate himself body, soul, and spirit to the work of seeking to save the perishing souls around him. Manuscript 44, 19, 3. City call porters needed. Books containing the precious light of present truth are lying on the shelves of our publishing houses. These should be circulated. Canvases are needed who will enter our large cities with these books. As they go from house to house, they will find souls who are hungry for the bread of life, to whom they can speak words in season. Canvases are needed who feel a burden for souls. You may say, I am not a minister. I cannot preach to the people. No, you may not be able to preach, but you can minister. You can ask those you meet if they love the Lord Jesus. You can be an, ev an evangelist. You can be God's helping hand, working as the disciples when Christ sent them forth. Young men, young woman, women, you are called by the Master to take up this work. There is a famine in the land for the pure gospel. Manuscript 13, 1901. Workers call to highways and byways. The things of this world are soon to perish. This is not discerned by those who have not been divinely enlightened, who have not kept pace with the work of God. Consecrated men and women must go forth to sound the warning in the highways and the byways. I urge my brethren and sisters, do not engage in work that will hinder them from proclaiming the gospel of Christ. You are God's spokesman. You are to speak the truth in love to perishing souls. Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Christ says, Do not these words plainly outline the work of the canvasser? With Christ in his heart, he is to go forth into the highways and byways of life, giving the invitation to the marriage supper. Men of wealth and influence will come if they are invited. Some will refuse, but thank God, not all. 
Oh, that thousands more of our people had a realization of the time in which we are living and of the work to be done in field service, in house-to-house labor. There are many, many who know not the truth. They need to hear the call to come to Jesus. The sorrowing are to be cheered, the weak strengthened, the mourners comforted. The poor are to have the gospel preached to them. The master knows and watches over his workers in whatever part of his vineyard they are working. He calls upon his church to arouse and become acquainted with the situation. He calls upon those in our institutions to awake and set in operation influences that will advance his kingdom. Let them send forth laborers into the field and then see that the interest of these laborers does not flag for lack of sympathy and of opportunities for development. Review and Herald, June 2, 1903. Scatter books like leaves of autumn. This is a work that should be done. The end is near. Already much time has been lost when these books should have been in circulation. Sell them far and near. Scatter them like the leaves of autumn. This work is to continue without the forbiddings of anyone. Souls are perishing out of Christ. Let them be warned of his soon appearing in the clouds of heaven. Review and Herald, August 13, 1908. One hundred where there is one, the lost sheep of God's fold are scattered in every place, and the work that should be done for them is being neglected. From the light given me, I know where there is one canvasser in the field, there should be one hundred. Testimonies, Volume 6, page 315. Assurance of success, a great and good work may be done by evangelistic canvassing. The Lord has given men tact and capabilities, those who use these entrusted talents to His glory, weaving Bible principles into the web, will be given success. We are to work and pray, putting our trust in Him who will never fail. Testimonies, Volume 6, page 340.